some new favorite products with you, um, things I've really been loving a lot over the past month, and I've really got kind of a well-rounded group of products in this video without even really thinking about it. I've got some face products, some eye stuff, some lip stuff. I always love watching these kinds of videos. They kind of remind me of like the... Uh, the editor's favorites section of a magazine. Like if I've got a fashion or beauty type magazine, that's always the first place I go see what makeup products they liked for the month. Um, but for me, my first thing I'm going to tell you about is this e.l.f. eyebrow kit. This is from the e.l.f. studio line. It was $3. I got mine at Target, but you could definitely get this at eyeslipsface.com if you don't um, have access at your Target. Um, my shade is medium, and this is an interesting little product because what you have here is like a tinted wax that you can use to fill in your brows and also a m nice matte powder. So it comes with this little applicator, and I actually use the applicator as well. And that has, let me show you here, has a little angled tip, so it's kind of like an angled liner brush. And then the other side is just like a small brush. That might seem like it's a sponge tip, but that's actually a little brush. And what I do is I just go into the wax part first with the uh, angled side, and I'll just go through and kind of fill in my brows a little bit. I don't have eyebrows that really need a whole lot of like reconstructing. Like they're pretty thick brows to begin with, but sometimes it's just a matter of evening out, you know, from one side to the other, just any places that are a little more sparse. And so this is just a really nice little tinted. Um, gel wax feeling product. And I take the other um, end, which is that little bitty brush, and I go into the powder, and then I just go through and top it off, and I feel like you get a really natural looking finish that way. I've probably talked about this a lot, but I'm just going to mention it again because it has been like probably the only kind of lashes I've worn for about the past month. And they are these Salon Perfect Lashes. Um, they're called Demi Wispies, and I know Ardell probably makes the same exact style, um, but they look like this. This is a four pack that I got at Walmart and Cupcake has just jumped on the table. <laughs> but um, I just love the style, the shape of them, how they're a little flared out at the ends. Um, I'm wearing them now and I just love these lashes. I think they um, are nice because they're not cut like as blunt. You know, they really have kind of a natural hair-like look with a mix of shorter um, lashes and longer lashes on the strip. I haven't even touched the bottom pair yet and I've had this for quite a while. So you can definitely reuse your lashes. I have a blog post um, all about how you can do that. Next, a really great blush and the packaging is super cute as well. It's from the Balm and it's called Hot Mama. And if you look at the girl there on the front, I mean, she's got her little maraca, her red bikini, I mean, flower in her hair, ready to party. Uh, but the blush inside is really, really nice as well. Um, this is kind of like a peachy coral blush with a great little bit of golden shimmer. I don't feel like it looks too shimmery on the cheek. All of these uh, blushes from the balm, I never really paid much attention to it before, but they all are labeled as being a shadow slash blush. I don't know if you can see that right there. So not only have I been using this as a blush, but I've been using it as a shadow more these days. So I'll just take like a fluffy crease brush, dip it in here, and you could do this with other blushes as well. But I just kind of go over this area, kind of right above my crease shade, almost to my to my eyebrow, and I feel like it warms up that area and just gives it a, a better look. That kind of coordinates better with the cheek and the lip usually than just a stark matte highlight maybe up there, just a white light color, um, because I do have a lot of space between my eye and my eyebrow, so it's kind of nice to put something up there that gives your face a little something extra. I get some of my blushes from the Balm on Hot Look because they're really marked down. Like, you can always get these at thebalm.com, but usually when the Balm is on Hot Look, they will offer some blushes at a great discounted price, so that's a good way to check them out, because I've got several others that are really great, too. There's Cabana Boy and down boy and frat boy like they're all really nice quality blushes but hot mom is the one I've been using a lot lately the balm also has something that I'm gonna be probably talking about in when I do a video on like holiday palettes and gift sets but it is just a killer palette love this it's the rockstar palette uh, balm jovi get it bon jovi balm jovi um, and you lift it up here the packaging is so cute you get a big mirror you get all these shadows two face products to like a blush and a highlight, 
down here a couple of lip products slash blushes so it's really a lot of things but such a compact little package there and I just want to point out a few elements of this that I think are just so smart With the shadows you're getting like some really highly shimmery even metallic colors here and you see how that all the shades are like a play on words for a band or something like that the middle is the classical section and these are all matte and then you've got the alternative section which are just some kind of different unique colors actually you've got like a mauve and a pretty lilac that's got a little bit of a golden tone a gorgeous and the camera is not doing this justice but this is a gorgeous um, deep rich navy blue and a pink so these are great quality just like I've raved about the Balm's Nude Tude palette. This is like Nude Tude, but with a few more colors. So we have this highlight called Disco Disco, and this reminds me a whole lot of Mary Luminizer. It's like almost identical. So if you don't have that and you want that, but you want it in the palette, you're getting that there. And then this Pop Pop blush is pretty close, not exactly dead on, but pretty close to the Frat Boy blush that they have. It's uh, kind of a matte blush, matte peachy color, maybe a little bit of sheen but not much. And this little part at the bottom is magnetic and that's kind of protecting your cream products which I love. So you got all your powdery products and then nothing's happening to those creams which are called Millie and Vanilli and they are like a lip balm, lip gloss type thing or they can be a creamy product on your cheeks. So you get a great mauve and then a deep berry color and I love the little detail down here. It's set up to look like the billboard chart and then they tell you all the combos. I am loving it so far. I will most definitely give you more information, a review, maybe a tutorial on it if that's something you want to see, but I just have been using this non-stop since I got it. You can get this right now at thebalm.com. Another product, um, a MAC lipstick that I've been really liking is called Cream in Your Coffee and this is a cream sheen lipstick that I featured in a haul I did very recently. Uh, but this is what the color looks like. It's just creamy, there's no shimmer to it. It's kind of like a dusty berry type color. Um, it has a nice depth to it. I've worn this quite a bit and I feel like it's just a great fall color. I think it's so wearable, um, works in so many different circumstances, and I've gotten a lot of compliments when I've had it on. Oh, and another lip product. Whew, I love this so much. It's the NYX Plump It Up Lip Plumper, and the shade is called Jessica. Um, this is something I just randomly decided to try in at Ulta, and it's a lip plumper. You actually do feel a little bit of tingle on your lips, so if you hate that, maybe don't try this, but the shimmer is gorgeous, and that's the reason why I probably like it the most, is just the appearance on the lips. It's just beautiful. A, this is the thing I've been reaching for constantly, just to top off any kind of lipstick or lip liner I might put on. This is the kind of reflective quality that it has. You can see it's just so pretty. It's like a kind of a goldeny champagne color. A little bit of bronze in there too, but still very light. This one kind of made me want to try another one. So the next time I was at Ulta, I got this shade called Lindsay, and this is a really light pink. This shows up even more light on the lips when you put it on, but both you can see they're kind of sheer. Like when the light's not hitting them, they are relatively sheer. So that's why I like using them to top off a product. Even if I put them on top of a lipstick, I still feel that little bit of tingle, and I do sense that there's a little bit of plumping going on. I've got this one, this pink toned one, just in the center of my lower lip. And I love the amount of shine that it gives, and I just think these are really nice glosses. They're not sticky. Um, if you felt like the Buxom lip gloss, Glosses, which I also love, but um, if you felt like those are a little too thick, this is a plumping gloss that is not as thick feeling as those. Have you watched my iHeart Drugstore makeup tag? What a fun video that was. I've seen so many others since then, and I think they're so fun to watch, but um, in my dupes section of that video, I mentioned this. This is the um, Pixie Correction Concentrate in Brightening Peach total favorite of the month for sure. Um, this is a great drugstore. I'm saying drugstore, it's a little bit pricey compared to some drugstore things. I mean, it's not like a seven or eight dollar concealer. It's like 15 bucks at Target, but it's less than the alternatives I had been using like Benefit Erase Paste, but very same color tone, a great peachy salmon colored concealer. And this is ideal when used on your darker circles, like, or dark discoloration right on the inner parts of your eye. It's so good there. I mean, works really well. Creamy, but not 
too creamy. Um, coverage just really hangs in there. It's not one of those concealers you blend in and then it shears out and you're like, okay, did I just put anything on there or not? This really does work. So um, if you are looking for something, you know, some alternative to those high-end concealers but want the salmon color, this is really where it's at at the drugstore right now. Um, probably the cheapest alternative I can find. So that wraps it up for my favorites for this month. I promise I will have some tutorials coming soon. Um, my weekends have just been so busy and that's kind of my key tutorial time but I've been away here for the past couple or have had people here or this or that so I will definitely have some new ones coming up soon. Um, eye tutorials, face tutorials, and lots of people want more one brand tutorials so I've got you covered on that too. So thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time.